Good morning. This is Larry. Coming to you with another Christ United Methodist Church video devotion. I say good morning because it's morning. And regardless of the time of day, somewhere in the world, at some time, it's morning for somebody. They're getting up, getting started on their day. Maybe they work a different shift. Maybe they're located in a different part of the hemisphere. But everybody starts their day sometime. And so when you start your day, it's important to get off on the right foot. Um, I wanted to share with you a, a little thought on devotions um, because I think it's important we kind of get off on the right foot in the morning. There's the old saying about getting up on the wrong side of the bed. Well, sometimes it's important to get up on the right side of the bed to start your day off with a little bit of prayer, a little bit of devotion, and sometimes that's hard to do. And sometimes people don't have access to that. Uh, where they are and so I'm going to share with you um, a portion of Psalm 5 which is attributed to David written about how important it is to kind of get your mind set on God early in the morning so I'm going to share that with you and maybe in the future at some time if you don't have a devotion handy you don't uh, know what you're going to to read uh, maybe you're tied up doing other things but could listen to something maybe you'd want to listen to this song go back in your phone Facebook things whatever and and find this and listen to this song because even though I know it's not the the actual uh, melody that David wrote the words are from the first part of Psalm 5 and it talks about kind of getting everything lined up for the new day so I'm gonna, I'm gonna share this with you Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry. My King, simple thought what a concept to be able to say to God give ear to my words Lord consider the things I'm meditating upon hearken to my voice and you are my king and my God and it's to you that I'll pray uh, just great words there the psalmist goes on to say my voice you'll hear in the morning I'll get with you and I'll direct my prayers to you. I'll look up knowing where my help comes from. It's a great devotion, isn't it? It's a great thing to think about. Getting lined up, starting your new day. And you know, every day is new and different and you don't know what it's gonna hold as you get up and you start getting ready. Kind of like opening up a package and you don't know for sure what's in it and there's a surprise. Sometimes they're good surprises, sometimes they're not. But um, there's a scripture in Deuteronomy where Moses gave blessings to the tribes of Israel. And when he uh, gave a blessing to the tribe of Asher, he said part of, the, part of the blessing was, As your days are, so shall your strength be. And while that was a blessing that Moses gave to Asher, it's something I think we can appropriate for our own lives because greater is, in he, greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. And lo, I'm with you always are the things that, that Jesus said to us to remind us that he's with us. 
His Holy Spirit resides within us as believers and gives us strength and power and to live every day. So as we look into the face of every new day, we should look into it with enthusiasm, with joy and expectation. And so when we put on our shoes of iron, which are mentioned there in that same blessing, we should be ready to trudge through the new day. So I hope that as you start your new day, you get off on the right foot, get out on the right side of the bed, thinking about your relationship with God, drawing closer to Him, and getting that strength and that power to live for the, for the new day. And I know if you get yourself lined up with God first thing in the morning, regardless of what comes your way, you'll have a good day. So we'll see you again soon. You have a great day, and God bless you. Bye now.